Chapter 731, Supreme Soldier 2 They were equally fast, now that the Supreme Soldier changed something about his tactic, but Michael didn't understand how the Supreme Soldier was doing it. The Serpent Seals were active, Heavenly Beast Physique was triggered, and several enhancement layers enhanced Sacred Constitution. It shouldn't be possible for a lesser life form to be as fast as Michael. Yet, that was precisely what happened. Michael frowned deeply and manifested the Soul Grimoire to use several soul tiers to amplify enhancement, sacred constitution, and cosmic stride. His top speed increased by a notch the moment the soul tier's power came into effect. The Supreme Takur screeched and clawed at Michael several times in quick succession, but he evaded most attacks. His superior speed, combined with Spirit Eye's prognosis, was enough to block most attacks. However, Michael didn't evade all attacks. He allowed two attacks to hit to insert a massive amount of extraction's power inside the Supreme Soldier. Michael had noticed that most beings wouldn't notice extraction taking root inside them when one of their attacks struck. After struggling to hit Michael, the Supreme Soldier was overjoyed that multiple attacks struck his arms. His claws inflicted severe injuries. They cut deep into Michael's flesh. His physical strength is not on par with mine, but he is as strong as Hiraku. Maybe he is even stronger than Hiraku, Michael noted. He had already guessed that, but it was weird that the Supreme Soldier's speed and strength doubled suddenly. At least Michael had soul traits that explained his power. The Supreme Soldier didn't have any soul traits that enhanced his physical strength. Otherwise, Michael would have sensed that. What if it's a soul technique? Danny guessed. The Tekur race was superior to the Triton Alliance. They had soul techniques and several divine life forms. It wouldn't be a surprise if they had some technique that increased their physical powers temporarily. However, such techniques usually come with a big drawback. What is your drawback? How long can you keep this up? Michael asked himself while activating the cursed seals to drastically increase extraction's potency. He shrouded his body in a thick membrane of true extraction and devoured the surrounding energy instantaneously, leaving no trace for the Supreme Soldier to absorb. Michael enhanced extraction's power and willed the golden roots inside the Supreme Soldiers to spread out and do their work. The Supreme Soldier tried to resist the roots of extraction inside him upon noticing them, but Michael unleashed spiritual domination with ten enhancement layers. That wasn't enough to knock out the Supreme Soldier, but it shattered his resistance for several seconds. The Supreme Soldier couldn't resist True Extraction's roots and suffered the after-effect. His origin energy was drained rapidly, and the same happened to the bits of life force left inside his body. He has so little life force left. Why does it feel like he's already on the verge of death? Michael asked inwardly, even though he could already guess the answer. The technique he'd used to grow stronger must have drained his life force. That was the same Michael guessed. However, it was hard to imagine that life force was enough to amplify one's physical prowess to such a high degree. Once he used that technique, the Supreme Soldier easily surpassed the threshold of a higher life form. Was such an extraordinary technique truly this easy to use? Michael doubted that. The drawbacks have to be really harsh. Michael focused on devouring the Supreme Soldier's life force. He used enhancement layers configured to concentrate on extraction's efficiency. The Supreme Soldier noticed that his life force was being drained faster than before. It desperately attacked Michael, executing an onslaught of claw strikes and energy blasts. Michael noticed quickly that the incoming attacks grew weaker. Their power deteriorated as the life force inside the Takur decreased. Meanwhile, Michael grew more accustomed to fighting someone similarly powerful and fast. It had been a while since he dealt with someone truly powerful. The last enemies who were either equally strong or stronger were Oliver Zeus and the peak tier 4 High Lionhearts from more than half a year ago. Michael was probably stronger than the commanders of the Heart of the Blazing Lion army, but that hardly mattered. These days, the Zantika Empire barely occupied Michael's mind. I should have challenged Oliver and the other professors more often, Michael reminded himself as he appeared beside the Supreme Tekur. Chi enhanced the Aether Blade, an enhancement flashed in his hand. Simultaneously, a massive amount of soil shot out of the ground. 
the earth buried the Tekur's lower body up to his thighs inside the ground near instantly, giving Michael a quarter of a second to severe one of the Supreme Tekur's wings. The severed spot bled severely, which was enough to cast a faint smile on Michael's face as he manifested several chi bullets. They pierced through the open wound and exploded inside the Supreme Tekur, unleashing the compressed chi in all directions. The chi ravaged throughout the Tekor's body like there was no tomorrow, but it was not enough to kill the Supreme Tekor. However, the damage was considerable. The Tekor screamed and lost control of his power for a moment. His physical prowess skyrocketed, draining his life force even faster. He broke out of the earthen prison and charged at Michael, who smiled lightly as he teleported high into the air. Hundreds of azure fireballs were already waiting to dive down and destroy everything obstructing their path. A deadly barrage ensued, with Michael observing the Supreme Soldier's final struggles. The azure fireballs impacted heavily, while the true extraction inside the Tukur continued to drain the last remnants of life force. The fireballs exploded upon impact, wreaking havoc in the surroundings while also causing a loud commotion, but Michael didn't mind. He watched the Supreme Soldier as the Tekur jumped high into the air in an attempt to reach him. However, the Tekur missed half of his pair of wings. He crashed to the ground, where the Azure Fireballs greeted him. What do you think about this technique? Michael asked his brother. Since there should only be lesser life forms in this dimension, it's pretty good. If every Tekur had such a technique, the Triton Alliance's prodigies would have been eradicated in this year's Flag War. It was a good decision to enter alone. Michael nodded slowly. His brother was right. None of the Triton Alliance's prodigies could survive against the Supreme Soldiers. After all, the Flag War was a battle of lesser life forms. At least, that's what it was supposed to be. I think that technique is pretty good if you want to surprise your enemy or if you fight someone stronger than you. It's just a little bit problematic once you're out of life force. You're literally betting your whole life on winning. Everyone does that in a life-or-death battle. You either kill your enemy with all you have, resulting in a drawback, or you will die. If you're dead, it doesn't matter what happens to your body. Dead is dead. The Supreme Tekra writhed weakly in pain. His carapace was crumbling, and his insides twisted and twitched. The Tekra was not yet dead, but his condition was really bad. Unleashing the technique that had drained his life force had been too much for his body. The Tekor used the technique for too long and with too few life force reserves. His current condition was the result. Michael approached the dying Tekor and unleashed true extraction upon it. He drained the Tekor's soul star fragments, slowly tearing them out of the dying awakened soul. Several minutes passed in the blink of an eye. Michael finished extracting all spirit star shards and was about to tear the spirit trait symbol out of Tekor's body when he thought about something else. He used Mind Reader on the Tekor for the next few minutes. The minutes felt like eons for the dying Tekor, but they air over shortly for Michael. It was too short. He found out some crucial information about the Tekor race, yet he missed some intel that would have helped him in the following battles. Unfortunately, the Supreme Tekur died before Michael could find out everything. His life energy was exhausted. Well, whatever, he shrugged before proceeding to use Drain again. He extracted the Tekur's soul trait, three memory orbs, and a portion of the Tekur's war rune storage. The stuff he found attracted Michael's interest. However, before organizing everything, he was the most curious about the memory orbs. If the Elite Taker's recall spheres were already helpful, then the Supreme Taker's memories must be even better. Show me everything, 